And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Lee Dixon. I'm greatly looking forward to bringing you live coverage of this match being played in Serie A. It is Torino, and they take on Bologna. And a look at the starting lineup for Torino. It's always interesting to try to sum up a team's style of play, their approach. And um, there are many who think that it's overly conservative in this case. What do you think, Lee? Well, Derek, it's not my preferred way of playing, that's for sure. But horses for courses is fine until you concede. Do they have a plan B if that happens? I'm not too sure. Well, a quick glance at the Bologna starting lineup. Well, there's no great mystery, is there? We know normally how they're going to play, and it's all about applying as much pressure as possible. Lee, can we anticipate seeing more of the same today? Yeah, absolutely, Derek. If you're really good at something, then why not? They're very good at this. All the team members have bought into this style of play. One player slacks off and it all falls apart, though. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. They might be able to get in now. So now a corner. And over comes the corner, and clears his lines. Fanny with it. Mitchell Dykes. And a throw-in it's going to be. Crossing possibilities. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Oh, stylish ball. What can they do now? Really good reading of the game to win possession back. And Saldi. And they'll have to throw it back in play. Fanny with it. has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Bring on now. Berenguer. Bring on. Velossi. It looks promising. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. This looks promising. Superbly read and executed. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Giving the ball away. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Others in the vicinity. And the cross into the middle. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Corner kick played in. Thunder's clear. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. A chance to whip it in. A foul, but advantage played. Well, it was never going to worry the keeper. Well, no wonder he's looking a little bit sheepishly at his teammates. Head in a hand sort of moment.
It's with Poli. Roberto Soriano. Palacio in possession. Unable to keep the ball that time. Couldn't keep the ball. Medel. Soriano. Wonderful chance. Well, that's fine goalkeeping. Real concentration. Over it comes. It hasn't come to very much. Excellent defending. A sloppy pass. It might be on for them. He's going forward well here. Medell. Delightful pass. Well, first rate goalkeeping. Oh, he can't believe the goalkeeper saved that. That's brilliant. Played into the centre of the box. Insufficient accuracy as regards the corner. Medell. Orsolini with it. And teammates to play it to. Insufficient guile on the crossing front, you've got to say. Bazelli. And Saldi. Chance to attack using wit. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. And a bad touch like that usually will mean giving the ball away. So tight this game. Who's going to break the deadlock? Be brave, be a hero, take chances. He's got to score! the post and back in and he's fired it against the post so a throw in here it's with Takahiro Tomiyasu an attack full of promise deflected behind corner forthcoming So the corner played into the box. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. Well, let's see about the cross. Well, he took care of it defensively. Berenguer. Daniele Bazelli. A chance maybe from the wide position. Bazelli. Intelligent threaded pass here. And up for grabs off the keeper. And there it is, the half time whistle. He was one of the better players in the first half, but needed to be better still. Lee, your thoughts? Well, he's worked his socks off, hasn't he? Played really, really well, done everything but score. Hit the woodwork, being energetic, creative, really good first half. What have we got for the second half? Let's find out. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. On the ball, Roberto Soriano. Excellent ball over the top. He's gone for power, Lee, but it's wide. Well, no real direction, but the power was there. And you're right, it's just gone past the post.
Given away. It's with Takahiro Tomiyasu. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Well, great read there to intercept. That is excellent pressure high up the pitch. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. I must say, this looks promising. And options in the centre. Very comfortable when in possession. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Can they keep it going? Verdi. Now, can he deliver accurately? He did it quite to enough. Maneuvering his way forward. The delivery towards the back post. Well, it might still work out for them. It comes to absolutely nothing. De Silvestri. Tremendous ball played through. Dangerous looking attack. Surely. Oh, can you believe what we've just seen? I think we're going to be viewing that goal time and time again. Well, we're going to see this time and time again. The kids will call it techers. I just call it pure genius. What a brilliant, brilliant goal this is. A chance to revisit the goal. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come onto them. The opening goal of the game then. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Strong play here. And it's Lorenzo De Silvestri. Simone Verdi. And they are on the move again. Excellent refereeing. Advantage in operation. Clear foul play. And as a result, a free kick forthcoming. And that will mean a caution. Well, definitely yellow card, Derek. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. And whipped into the box. Well, he failed to get it away properly. 